Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a little get ready with me. So I am going to be putting on the Glow Up Recipe. This is the Hyaluronic Serum. I already washed my face. I already put sunscreen on. So now I just want to put a serum on before I put my makeup. So I've been doing this like no makeup makeup look. And I'm not sure if I've shown it on here before. So I'm going to show it today. I will usually go in with a concealer first and depending on how bad the bags under my eyes are, it'll depend on what concealer I use. Because sometimes I'll use the Tarte Shape Tape and sometimes I will use the Kosas. But for today I'm going to use the Shape Tape. I just feel like this covers more. And that's why I absolutely love this and I just can't let go of this product. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually put some on my chin too. Just because I tend to get a little redness there. Okay, so usually I'll let this sit for a bit. And while I let it sit, I go into my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I'll use the Ilia. This is the Limitless Lash Mascara. But honestly, if you have dark brows, any mascara will do. So I am just brushing those hairs up. And I'm going to grab myself a mirror just so I can see that close. But this is usually what I do. And I always feel like this just ends up looking good. You know, it's not a makeup routine that I have to go really all out with when I go out like out out yeah I'll put more effort into the makeup but if it's like an everyday makeup look this is usually what I do so I'm gonna grab my wet sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending that concealer I'm only gonna blend out my chin for now and I'm gonna leave the one underneath my eye I'm going to put some on my eyelid just a little bit just because I want to go ahead and just prime the eyelids. And I'm not going to wait for that. I'm going to just start blending that already. And this actually helps for the shadow just to stay longer. And it'll help even more if you put powder. So that is what I'm going to do after I finish. But I'm going to go ahead and just blend out underneath my eye. Okay, so from there, I'll go in with the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and use the Mario Master Matte Palette. If you know, you know, this is my go-to palette. This is just the palette that I always have to travel with. I absolutely love this palette. So I'm going in with this light brown color here. I like to go in with these two here. And just kind of just blend out the outer part and it doesn't have to be perfect i kind of go a little crazy with this okay now just to intensify the shadow a little more i'm gonna go in with the becca this is the chrissy from the chrissy collection in cinnamon judo and i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that on and this has such a pretty glitter in it that i like to just focus on the outer part of my eye with it i don't really bring it so much in i just want to blend it like right there and just to brighten up the look a little more i'll put it in the inner corner of my eye and then i'll put a little bit right here in the lid okay and then with the brush i'm gonna go ahead and fix what's on the lid and just do like a cut crease there that way it is not so dark perfect and i'm gonna go ahead and blend in the inner corner this one if you've used it before you know it doesn't really cover much it's just really good to brighten up the eye i usually love to get a shade like really light so that it could really really bring out my eyes so i'm gonna go ahead and use mascara now and sometimes i'll use the ilia mascara but for this 
time I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go in with another mascara, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And I like to do little pulses. I feel like it works the best. Perfect. And now with the Lancome, this is the primer for the mascara. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. And I like to go like up and down with it. I feel like it helps the most. Okay. And on the other side. This is just one of those mascaras that is so, so good. Even though I'm trying to stay mostly clean with my makeup, I absolutely love this mascara. I feel like it really, really made my lashes look long. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the mascara. This is the Monsieur Big Mascara. I know my bottle's a little dirty, but it is what it is. The Tarte Shape Tape Mascara... I mean, sorry, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, for some reason, that bottle always gets everything dirty for me. Like, everything, everything. It always spills on the sides, and it gets on everywhere. That's why I keep those makeup wipes in hand, just so I can clean everything. Okay, and just to get that extra, like, lift on my lashes... I'm going to go in with the curler one more time and just really, really hold it on there. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on. So, I'm using this blush. If you notice, I have not used foundation. That's just because that's what my everyday makeup looks like i don't really put foundation i'll just put like a little bit concealer eyeshadow mascara and now i'm putting some blush on and i just feel like it's been helping my skin a lot not to always put foundation so that's why i've been trying not to put it on and so far i like it you know it's not too bad I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out. I put a little bit too much on this cheek, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of the bronzer. I don't put bronzer all the time, but just for this video, I'm going to go in with the NYX bronzer. It's just really what... Depends what I'm wearing. It depends how I feel. Like whether or not to put a little bit of bronzer or not. But just for this video, I'll put a little bit on. And then I'll put a little bit of my forehead. Jawline. Perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and with a lip liner. So for lip liner, I'm going to go in with the NYX in Nutmeg. And I'm going to go ahead and just line my lips. Because I'm wearing like a nude or like a brownish shirt. I really want to bring out that brown. So I'm going to darken up my lips. And honestly, those like dark brown colors have always, always been my favorite for lip lining. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the concealer. And I'm going to do it with my finger and just put some in the middle. just feel like this makes the look look even better. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out. Okay, I'm going to fix some of that lip liner because I feel like it's smudged a bit. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on that powder. And I'm not going with the triangle sponge. I know mine's a little dirty. I do have new ones, which I will be using pretty soon. But for now, I am going to keep this one. And just press on all of my face. And I'm even going to put a little bit on my lips. 
perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and I will be back. Okay, I ended up doing this ponytail with a little bit of a fish braid going on. So I'm gonna go in with these earrings here. I absolutely love these earrings. They're small, but they're really, really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one. And yep, yeah, that's gonna be the finished look. I love this look. I feel like it's so simple but so cute. But that is gonna be it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, if you haven't checked it out already, check out my description down below. I have my boyfriend's channel link. I have the channel that I have with him linked down there as well. Go check those out. Go subscribe. And I will see all you beautiful people in the next one. Bye.